There is absolutely nothing better than going on location and sketching. It is the most fun thing to do in the world and I hope that my last week's video inspired you to try some of it and I thought I would show you a little bit more detail on the coastal road painting which would be a really good painting for anyone to paint because there's usually a road around with trees and shadows and all that sort of thing. You want to paint it in the morning or the late afternoon and that way you have those long interesting shadows across the road. And just get your sketchbook and it doesn't have to be on an easel. You don't need a chair. You don't need any of that stuff. You just need paints, paper, brush, and water. And that's it. So I'm going in here and I want a golden glowing effect at the far end of the road. So it looks like you're headed into the sunlight, you know, at the far end. And so purple is a really good, the cobalt violet's a really good contrast for that. And I'm using really dashy strokes. I'm just playing with it. And this is a sketch. It's not a finished painting. I'm not planning on selling it or anything like that. It's for me. And it's very important to do a lot of those and not take every single painting completely seriously because then you're scared to learn. And if you do more paintings that, more sketches that you're not planning on selling, you're not planning on framing, you'd be surprised on how many of them you end up putting on your wall and how special they are and how much better you are for painting them whether they were good or not, is finished sketches. Um, so I'm going to have these beautiful um, trees framing this area. I want a lot of white and light, and I'm using a wax crayon, a clear wax crayon, like I've used before um, on some of this to preserve some of the highlights. But I'll also be showing you how to use a, um, a colored wax pastel water soluble pastel, water soluble pastel in a, a little bit. So one of the most interesting parts of this, I think, is the palmettos. I really go crazy anytime I go somewhere warm and painting the palmettos because they've got that basket weave and the dancing light and shadows and they're just absolutely fascinating to paint. So if you're ever somewhere uh, palm trees are good. Palmettos are the best because the um, the trunks. Palm, palm trees are good too. Though. Um, they, they definitely have the fronds, especially when they're smaller and you can really get into that. Um, let's see. So I want some deep darks, not too dark in the foreground, bits of that. And I really want the effect of dancing light and shadows on here. So I'm I really am doing a live dry brush, a lot of deep colors. Um, it's a little washed out from the day, so, you know, just letting my brush dance around. So I need those deep darks in there, and you can see beyond there. So I'm pulling out some of the, reserving some of the whites with wax crayon. Don't forget that you can't ever get rid of wax crayon. You can read all the things you want about ironing and stuff like that to remove it. They don't work completely. They don't even work very well. So don't put wax crayon anywhere that you're not sure you want the wax crayon. That's just an absolute. Um, so I'm, I'm doing, it has this wonderful Spanish moss hanging and so you always want to make sure that you you add a little bit of that and you you allow for a couple layers of it and you have to have splatter right it's a sketch any excuse for splatter really it livens it up it's it's just fun and painting should be fun because if you're not having fun when you're painting, it's going to show. People are going to be able to tell and the painting won't have that lively effect. That doesn't mean it's not hard. It doesn't mean that you're not concentrating. It just means you're having fun while you're doing it. Watercolor is for people that love little bits of challenges, love going places and sketching and painting and are always willing to learn. So 
You know, it's, it's just fun. So I'm still using just about the same colors I've used the entire one. The green is either viridian mixed with azo yellow or nickel azo yellow or cobalt blue mixed with azo yellow or nickel azo yellow. And pretty much I stick to the same concentrations. I'm using a my tiny little palette. Um, I ordered a new sketching palette that I can't wait to try and I'll show it to you as soon as I have tried it. Um, but it didn't arrive in time because we went a week earlier than we planned. So we're out here camping and it's coastal Georgia, just south of Savannah. So of course I made it into Savannah for some trips, but really this trip I enjoyed the campground the most. It's just very peaceful and pleasant to paint and very easy with two boys and you know, having to do constant feeding frenzies and just very pleasant. So notice that I'm not doing the wax crayon just once on the white paper. I'm doing it on the yellow. I'm doing it any time I want to reserve that color and I know I'm going to be painting like crazy over it. So it doesn't need to be on the whole painting. You're looking for little dashes. You should be develop enough brush control where you can pretty much reserve areas but I don't use wa uh, masking on the road when I'm doing that. It takes too long. It gets messy. Eventually, you end up thinking it's dry and you, you know, put your beautiful brush in it. So, not good. Um, so, what I use is the wax crayon. I use gouache much more freely than I would in the studio because I want to remember what I'm painting and I want to be able to you know have have that idea in my head and that's what's important and the final painting will might be a year or two down the road might not even be this scene though I, I kind of want to do one of this scene but you only have time to do so many finished paintings but sketches you can do three or four a day if you feel like it you know I like spending half the day wandering around, hiking, doing that kind of thing, and half the day sketching. It's perfect. My kind of life. So I still am sticking with the golden haze at the end of that. And so I'm using a lot more dry brush. I'm using softer colors. I'm using more golden colors. So azo yellow, nickel azo yellow. And you can see how dark that palmetto looked to start with and how dark things looked, but it's drying very fast. I'm outside, it's, you know, the wind is blowing and things are drying. So I'm moving as I go. And that, with that way you can move around the entire painting at once. So always look at the reason that you're out there sketching is you're looking at things. You're, you're always looking at what you're painting and you want to keep that in mind because that's the easiest thing that you think, oh, I've painted a road before, but you haven't painted this road. And this road is going to be different from every other road you've ever painted in your entire life, which is great. It's a beautiful challenge. But, and that doesn't mean there's not similarities, but this one is always unique because it's always going to have something and even different times of day. And that, that's one reason I love staying where I'm painting right in the middle of it. I love camping for this is I can look at things, you know, 10 different times a day and think, well, that's going to look better at sunset. And that one, I need to get there first thing in the morning and sketch that. And... You know, it moves around like that. So you know that on some of the other ones, um, my other sketches this trip, I got a little obsessive about the palmettos. Um, there's one of my camping 
companions and he really is in it for the marshmallows don't don't get me wrong on that campy is all about marshmallows um as his shirt says so we had a lot of fun together but they and they painted some with me which was wonderful i i just can't think of anything better than painting with my kids so I've, I'm getting some stronger darks in here. And that means that some of the roads, some of the whites need to be toned down. It's just, it's got that sparkle, but not, not quite that much. And it's not leading me where I want to go. So I'm pulling the viewer's eye into the painting. So I need to emphasize those lines a bit. A little bit more shadow in the foreground there. cobalt teal and the azo yellow makes a very harsh bright green and you know that's not a bad thing for this this area of the world you've got really bright colors and this is early spring you know the azaleas are just starting to bloom and so you've got the the really bright greens going So here's, I mean, that, that adds pretty much like an arrow. This is where we want to go. Sketches don't have to be subtle. They don't have to be super well thought out. They're learning about what you're painting. So I like how this one turned out. It was fun. Can't wait to develop it into a big painting. Um, and I, as one of y'all suggested, I, I need to show you how the sketching one and a finished one and that would be I like that idea that would be really interesting oh um I am working on the Arsh um rough press block so I went I forgot to tell you that I like the rough press paper when I'm on location in most places um okay there here's the Karen de Arsh uh ash a water soluble wax pastel. Um, this is fabulous to use and have a couple different colors of for on location because then you don't have to worry about reserving whites or anything like that. You want to reserve some, of course, but the little dinky ones on the palm fronds or something like that, you can get it back, especially when you're using the rough pressed paper so the pastel only skims part of the edge there looks like you did a great dry brush and it was exactly right but you know you cheated and cheating is not a bad thing in painting anything it takes to make it look like you want it that's my kit that's the scene and that's the painting I think this one took 20 or 30 minutes so that tells you how long it takes for more information, visit my website, paintingwatercolor.com. I have the reference photo and all the stuff you need and a lot more paintings. And I really hope this inspires you to go sketch a gorgeous tree-lined road near you. Thank you very much for watching. Happy painting.